Hey guys, this is Mark Potter 90. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you a couple of the things that you can do now that you have HM7 Waterfall. Here in Route 1, Route 120, I think it is? Yes, Route 120. No, Route 119, I'm sorry, Route 119. Here, um. Uh, west of Fortree City, we can get those two berries, but also, come on, yes, we can get a couple of uh, stuff, like this nugget we can sell for uh, 5,000 Poké Dollars, uh, there you have a secret base, uh, oh yeah, I have to go there, that way, what am I, what am I, what am I doing, okay, Oh my god. Come on. Just hate this acro bike. Okay, and you can get a rare candy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I would definitely not wait until here to get to build a secret base. So as we head closer to Meteor Falls, actually I'd like to do something. As I was saying here in Meteor Falls, if I believe so, we can also get another rare candy. That's more than just uh, getting a couple of items, actually. I'm, I haven't told you guys anything, but I was waiting until pretty much the end of the game, really, to show it. I want to catch another Pokemon. Yes, it's true. I want to catch another Pokemon. Now, you guys um, might be thinking, yeah, this guy's using like seven Pokemon already. That's one more than the general team. And yeah, he wants to raise another one. Is this guy crazy? I mean, I know, it's definitely not standard stuff. Um, I just wanted to do something unique. Plus, I've never really got to use any Pokemon except for Sceptile, I just use it all the time, but I mean, uh, um, I never really got to use Whiskash, Minkata, Hariyama, all those kinds of Pokemon in, like, real playthroughs. I, like, I never just played the game with those Pokemon. So here we're in the top part of Meteor Falls, where we can run into, well, some high-level Pokemon, actually. We can find Soul Rock at a higher level, we can actually get that. Um, we can also get... Golbat, uh, but Golbat, you know, you can find in a couple other places too, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing, like, there are two, like, main things that are here. One of them is actually a Pokemon, the Pokemon that I'm interested in. Now, the deal with this Pokemon is that it is a, it's an incredibly high level Pokemon, actually. What do we have here? Oh, we can only get an iron here. Okay, so we can get TM23 Iron Tail. Uh, this is pretty much the best steel type move in, in Generation 3. Sadly, um, it's very inaccurate, but it deals a whole lot of damage. It deals 100 damage, but sadly it has uh, 75 accuracy. And uh, it's, it's actually pretty good. I mean, Metal Claw is just really crappy in comparison. So I'd, I'd go with that. Okay, sadly I have to take on this guy. Uh, I'm forced to take on this guy, so yeah. Um, from this guy, and from a couple of other trainers, um, I'd just like to say a couple of things. This Dragon Tamer, and uh, some other trainers, you can uh, check, you know, you can check it. I don't really feel like explaining it, but um, these guys, um, there are certain trainers in the game that they give you your number, you know, all that, you know that, but after five times, like on the fifth battle, like the fifth rematch, you can uh, steal a, a type enhancing item from this guy. On the fifth time, you can get um, you get the Dragon Fang, which boosts Dragon type moves by 10%. Uh, it's like the Miracle Seed, but for Dragon type Pokemon. Um, you can also get the Black Belt from 
the guy that's on Route 115, if I remember correctly, that black belt guy that's got that, that macho up and that macho, yeah, well, he'll end up landing the macho and he will steal that dragon thing from him. And there's that, uh, bug cat, there's that, uh, bug catcher on Route 121 that's got a silver powder on his, uh, masquerade. You can, you can look for it, it's not that hard, you can just... Just check on Bulbapedia, one of those sites. Honestly, it's not that worth explaining. Plus, these uh, type boosting items are pretty crappy in this game. Uh, it's only 10%, so honestly, it's a huge drawback, drawback to um, to like a Pokemon's real potential. Honestly, okay, here in this cave. You can find one of the best Pokemon in the game, I must say. It's one of the, the best Pokemon in the game. We have TMO2 Dragon Claw, which is uh, arguably the best Dragon type move that can be taught by TM. It's actually the only one. Okay, let's see if we can run into the Pokemon that I'm looking for. Okay, no, it's not Golbat. I mean, Golbat, don't get me wrong. Crobat will end up being an excellent flying and even a poison type. You know, it would be pretty good. But the Pokemon that I'm looking for is just so good. Wow, you can find Soul Rock in this part? I, I didn't remember that you can find Soul Rock in this exact area. So, yeah, as I was saying, uh, okay, let's just cut the chase. Type boosting items aren't really good. In uh, Generation 4, they were a lot, they got a lot better. They, uh, Increased moves by 20%, so that's really that's really the deal with it. Um, I'm, I wouldn't really kill for one of those things here in Generation 3 or or lower, actually. But yeah, whatever. Um, crap! I just keep running into Soul Rock, don't I? Okay, just let me. I'll just keep explaining then. Um, Dragon Claw is pretty much the best move they can teach to a Pokemon. Outrage is still better. Sadly, it can confuse you, but still, our uh, Dragon Claw is excellent. It does 80 power. It, it doesn't do anything else, but it just it's just great like that. Plus, um, the Pokemon that I'm looking for is... Uh, well, I'm just going to end up revealing if it doesn't appear. Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, here we have it. It's Bagon. Okay, so it was actually the next encounter. I was just getting so pissed at all those Pokemon that kept appearing. Okay, this is Bagon. Bagon. Oh crap. Oh crap. I KO'd a Bagon. Wow. Okay, I feel. Damn it, why do you have to get a critical hit, Sharpedo? Yeah, it, it was that Pokemon that we found right there. Bagon evolves into. A uh, defensive, a very defensive Pokemon called Shellgon, who ends up evolving into Salamence. Salamence was one of the two pseudo legendary Pokemon in Generation 3. A uh, quick explanation on pseudo legendaries uh, pseudo legendaries are non legendaries that have incredibly high stats that can only be rivaled by. Uh, they're like they're only topped by a legendary Pokemon. Uh, examples of pseudo legendaries would be the classic Dragonite, well, the original Dragonite, 
Uh, Tyranitar is also a classic. It's heavily used in uh, Wi-Fi battles as well. Both of them, but Tyranitar especially because of its sandstorm ability. Um, and well, in this game, uh, I introduced two Pokemon that are heavily used um, by like pretty much everyone. Uh, Salamence, which is the final evolved form of Bagon, and uh, Metagross, which we haven't seen yet. But yeah, and uh, you know, there have been a couple of others in later generations, but fun fact is that, um, if I'm not mistaken, there's only... Okay, here we found it again, yeah. Uh, there's only one in each generation except for this one. Okay, if you get a critical hit this time, I swear. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to catch this. Yeah, Bagon, uh, you can get the highest the highest level Bagon you can get is 35. Bagon evolves at level 30 into Shellgon, so once you level to level it up once, like it'll instantly evolve. And um, yeah, you have you only have to get it to level 50. And, uh, you know, the other pseudo-legendaries required level 55, at least up to this point. Like, uh, for Dragonair to evolve into Dragonite, and for a uh, to evolve into, into Tyranitar. But Bagon actually got a bit reduced, the whole pseudo-legendary level. It wasn't as intense, but it's still a pretty high level. But this time, you can actually get it. A lot easier. I got a ton of rare candies. I got like uh, eight, I think. And I'm not really gonna use all eight of them, but I guess I'll use a couple on on her. So yeah, we've captured Bagon. Okay. This Pokemon has a very powerful skull, as we'll get access. So now what I'm gonna attempt to do is uh, I'm gonna attempt to really get this Pokemon up to date with my other with my other team members. Like, none of my team members are at level 50. So, what I'm really going to be doing in these, uh, the episodes that are, are to come is really, um, you know, getting my Pokemon up to speed. Nevertheless, I still have Victory Road. So it's not like it's, it's a lost cause. I still have Victory Road, and, uh, wait, no, I'm subtile. And I can still get my Pokemon to at least, I don't know, level 45. The, the Elite Four in this game isn't that hard to beat, as, uh, the Fire Red, the one in Fire Red. I have to say, in Fire Red, they're just very hard. Very hard in comparison. Uh, especially Lance, I guess. Lance was very hard for Sun and played it. Yeah, we found a PP up there. Okay, nice. So. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take on that couple, and uh, that's pretty much it for this. I hope I can. I hope I can actually level up Bagon here.
Okay, so now it's time to see what it evolves into. Well, I already know, but I'm just gonna show it to you guys. Okay! Whoa! At first, it might kind of freak you out that it's turning into like this sphere thing. But yes, Bagon has evolved into Shelgon. Shelgon, um, like when it enters its Shelgon stage, it's more of a defensive thing. Like it's a lot bulkier. Uh, less uh, offensive, I guess. Uh, I totally forgot to teach a Dragon Claw, so I'm going to do it now. And uh, pretty much in the next episode, I'm going to be showing uh, Route 132, 33, and 34. Like, uh, get some Shelgon, some levels up so we can catch up to the rest of the team. Okay, so, I'll see you guys, Martin Potter 90, out.